what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more vikings we are beginning season six today and i have to say i want i really want to see this i want to see how they're wrapping up things with the series knowing that this is the final season of vikings i do want to see how it ends you know i wasn't particularly loving season five you know i think it was you know what i'm saying it was subpar it was subpar. It wasn't good enough. Um, I think they just threw a bunch of stuff together and didn't know what to do after they threw that stuff together. <laughs> you know, it's like they they did a good job of, you know, the aesthetics of Vikings are always going to be good. They're always going to stand out. You know what I'm saying? And I have no issue with that. I have no issue with the aesthetics of the show. What I do have an issue with is the story aspect of the show is just kind of all over the place and there's no focus storyline towards, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you're just, you're telling a story from so many different perspectives. It's kind of like it's, it's all over the place and it's confusing. And me as a fan of Viking up until season four, and don't get me wrong, there were moments in season five, there were moments good hype moments but you know things just seemed a little bit too convenient you know what i'm saying um somebody pointed out in i think it was my last the last reaction to wrap up the season somebody pointed out <laughs> and was saying man that's it's like so they just they just arrived just in time to give him the sword it's just like suppose they lost <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Suppose suppose Bjorn had lost. Like, what were you gonna do? Bow to Ivar? I'm like, they literally went home with no plan. They didn't even stop by at York. You know what I'm saying? They didn't stop by York to even f find out if you know where they went, what happened, you know what was happening. They don't know what's happening. They just went home. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that was just kind of weird to me. I'll uber just decides to go home it's just but anyways we're gonna jump into this i don't want to waste any more time so i'll see you guys for the review all right so i'm not off the bat you know i'm not super excited <laughs> you know um this has got to be one of the worst season openers I've ever watched. And the thing, the thing about it is that there's nothing exciting about the Vi Vikings anymore. It's just the same old shit. It's just like, um, I just don't know where they're going. Like, what are you setting up? Another battle at Kattegat? Like, uh, she's getting boring. <laughs> um... The, the stuff that is going on with, with, with Lagatha, like, then I guess Floki is dead because it wasn't, like, confirmed that he's dead. It was just like he fell over in the cave and a bunch of rocks fell. So, I guess, I guess Floki's dead. Um, yeah, I was hoping to get an update on Floki in this episode, but there's none. So, I guess he dead. Um, also, yes, the situation that's going on with Lagatha... I don't get it. I get you don't want to fight anymore. But why are you burying your sword? Like, I get it. <laughs> oh, you know, it's just certain things that are just wasted scenes, in my opinion. Um, as I said, I'm not super excited about what I just saw, like this new dude, this Russian or whatever, these Russian Vikings, if you want to call it that. Like, I'm not excited to see them go to go take Kattegat again. And then... King Harold is like commissioning Bjorn to come and fight his battle because um, Olaf took his. Oh God! I'm sorry, guys, if I seem. <sighs> this has got to be the worst season opener I've ever watched of any TV series. Like I've, I, I'm probably have seen worse. I probably have seen worse. I mean, I mean, and this is gone for some, like. Se season 8, Game of Thrones, Season 8, Episode 1. Pretty good episode. It wasn't this bad. <laughs> you 
you know what I'm saying? There were a lot of stuff that was going on in that episode, but it wasn't this bad. Bruh. Yo, there's... The, the, where's the direction of, of the series? Like, that's what you're supposed to do in a season opener. I mean... The, shut up, Siri. Shut up. You know? It's just crazy to me that they will go this far, right? To establish certain things and then to get back to the same point of revenge again. Like, this is your final season. The final season. Okay, we saw Bjorn having some sort of conflict with being king. Yes, that is very obvious. There's no reason to create a scenario specifically for him to be you know having this conflict we know he just became king he's not gonna be great at it at the first time stop treating your audience like they're idiots anybody that knows anything about leadership leadership is not something that you just step into and be great off the bat we know that we know he's going to have some sort of conflict, but you don't have to make it so freaking obvious. That's why those scenes didn't really hit me because in my head, I know that Bjorn is supposed to have this conflict. So I don't expect it to outright see it just thrown in my face. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hating on the series. It's just... I want the series to, for them to have a good final season, and now I'm here. They already shit the bed with season five, and now we're here with the first episode of season six, and I'm like, okay, where is this? Is everybody just going to retire? Is that's where we're going? And then we, and then everybody probably is going to come back to fight off Ivar. Maybe I think that's what's going to happen. If I'm going to make any predictions, are we going to see Rolo ever again in the series? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know. I just don't know. I am confused and conflicted about how I feel about this show right now. You know? I want it to be great. I do. I want it to be great, but it's just terrible. You know, it's just terrible right now. I don't really give a, I don't care about Prince Oleg. He's not that convincing of an actor to me anyways. It's just the same old shit. It's like another uh, Aether Wolf in a certain way. I mean, Aether Wolf was better, but he's not that convincing me of him being the new person or the new villain per se. It was like it, everything just seems so convenient plot wise. And that's where the, the issue is coming in because it's like, okay, you just happen to end up over there. And it's like, and, and then they're using the whole God thing to explain everything. It's just like, come on, bro. Oh, it is fate that we were supposed to meet. Yes, it was fate that we were supposed to meet. Here, in um, wherever we are, Winnipeg. <laughs> it was sweet. It was sweet that we were supposed to meet. So you can kill my bodyguard that came with me, and then we get to go to Katikat together and get the revenge on our brothers. <laughs> Anyways, um. Uh, I'm I'm just saying, guys. It's just it's just weird to me. How everything just seems a little bit too convenient for plot direction. And oh man, how many episodes is in the first half? I think it's like ten episodes. Yeah, ten episodes, bro. Oh my god! And then they gonna have a second half. Oh Jesus! I'm not loving this. <laughs> I'm not loving this. I'm still going. I'm still going to react to the rest of it to see where it goes, but there's no high hopes here. I'm just, I'm just being honest. You know, there's no high hopes. There was nothing being set up in that episode for me to look forward to other than, oh, we're going to band together and go back to Katagat again to attack Katagat. It's like every season 
that's what the, the series is about. No, may I retract that statement? That is not correct. It's like for the last couple of seasons, that's all it is about. You know what I mean? Like it was about Catagat going back to Catagat to take back Catagat from Ivar last season after he took it over from Lagatha. Yeah, I mean, it's just like everything is just centered around Catagat now. It's like they can't find anything else to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would have more enjoyed them doing more exploring, trying to go back to England and be like, um, whatever, and attack England again. I would more be interested in them going somewhere else and fighting somewhere else. We're back at Catagat again. All right. Yay. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much, man. I'm sorry to be of such low energy, but this episode did not do anything to really get me excited. So, I mean, I'm just tired of this. The That plot line just could go. They don't need it. It's like, oh, we started at Kattegat, so let's end in Kattegat. I know that's what the writers are thinking. I can tell you off the bat that that's what the writers went into season six, final season. Oh, it started in Kattegat. Let's end it in Kattegat. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much. You know, yeah, I appreciate you guys. All, you know, all the comments and all of that good stuff, man. Leave a like if you like what I had to say. I mean, it was me. I would leave a dislike. Shit, this episode was trash. Um, <laughs> great acting, as always. The actors got to work with what they're given. They can't do anything about that. Their acting is always on, on par, except the new guy, which is not... I don't find him convincing as an actor. Like, he's not knocking anything out of the park. You know what I'm saying? It was an okay performance for me. So... I'm just saying, acting is always good. So if you're talking about the episode overall and story-wise, it was a shitty opener for a season. I think it's the worst one that I've seen. Even season five opener was way better than this. So it's just my opinion. If you really look close at what's going on in in that episode, you realize that it was just a bunch of just scenes of nothing, nothing going nowhere. It's, it was just like a bunch of one-off scenes. You know what I'm saying? And then the final, it was like, what is the purpose of this dude capturing Ivar? Okay, they're flying the, a balloon over a, a small city. Okay, we'll fly. And then they have some obscure conversation about Ivar being a guy. I'm like, if this, if you're torturing this guy and he's telling you that Ivar is a king, and then he tells you he's a god, and, and, and you still kill him, and then I don't get it. And then you ended up believing that he was sent here for a purpose. And then... It, <sighs> that shit didn't make no sense, okay? It just didn't. It was it, it was convoluted and all over the place. And I know what all over the place looks like, okay? If you disagree with me, leave it in the comment section, of course. But in any case, that's just me for the review. Didn't need to be 10 minutes, but this is how I feel right now. Anyways, I'm going to go watch something more exciting. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> And I will catch you guys for the next one, man. Peace.